Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Longest Journey. Last time, we reunited the Alation and the Merum. We got our second part of the stone disc, then we met with the god who had fallen into the sea, and we got also one of the four jewels of the disc, so slowly but surely the disc is coming together. Then the sea god brought us to the land of the dark people. The ship is enshrouded in a thick fog, very mystic-like. And apparently we are still inside the dark god. Or something, I don't know. I have no idea. I can't see the face, but I think it's a man. A tall man wearing a dark cloak. He's one of the dark people. Whatever they are. So we are with Dementors? Or, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for taking me on board. Who are you? Maybe it's a dark people ship that we transferred uh, to. Well, I thought you... I mean, didn't the old dragon... Well, I'm April Ryan, from Stark. And I guess you're a dark person. But who are you? I... I'm just a student. Not anybody special. You are special. Who are you? This reminded me of uh, anger management. I'm not. I'm just... <sighs> I'm the Windbringer. I'm the Water Stiller. I'm April Bondu Mbata of the Banda and the Venar Kangang La. I'm a shifter. I will someday become the 13th Guardian, the Protector of the Balance. And I'm April Ryan. This is who I am. Yes. That is who you are. And you are a wave. Oh, and there's another dark person just walking by. Hi, bye, okay, don't say anything. Why am I, uh, a wave? You have a purpose. You play an important part in the cosmos. A wave is someone who propels people and events toward change towards the future. And... that's what I do? You are a wave. There are ripples from your passing, and they spread wide and far. Those ripples will never die down. The worlds will be changed by your journey. You're telling me that everything I do affects the universe? You cannot escape it. You are a wave. Hmm. Okay, so a wave among many, many other things. And we are going to change the worlds. We already have kind of been told this by pretty much every single other race we've come across. The ancient dragon, the blue of the drag kin, told me you had a map for me. A map of stars, yes. It was made for you in our library and given to me to hold. It is yours now. Keep it well. It is the only one. You, you couldn't have made, like, several, just in case? I'm looking for an ancient stone given to you by the Sentinel, the Fathers. You came for the stone. Of course we have it with us. Our ship would not have been chosen to meet you were it not for the stone we carry with us. Everybody's just waiting around for me to show up, so that they can give me stuff. Who knew adventuring was going to be this easy? <laughs> it will not always be so easy. Of that I can assure you. But here is our stone. We entrust it to you, as we were instructed to do when the fathers first entrusted it to us. Can this ship take me back to Mercuria? I mean, would you mind? We will bring you to Marcuria henceforth. It will take the night, but we will be there at first light. That's fine. Thanks a lot. You are free to rest here, to sleep, while we travel. The flames will keep you warm, but do not move too far away. My brothers are not friendly with outsiders. They do not take kindly to intrusion. I'll keep that in mind. I'm staying right here. Good. Sleep. What do you mean intrusion? We were invited onto the ship and... Uh, 
Dark people don't seem very friendly, but oh well, let's just sleep on the ground. And come to chapter 9, Shadows. I think there are actually 12 chapters in all in this game, but I'm not sure. So we still have a ways to go, actually. Grim Fandango is officially released tomorrow. I have already pre-ordered it, so I should, I should be able to download it tomorrow, and I will start on it right away. So I'll have to put off uh, Threads of Fate for a bit while I finish this one as well. Yeah, excited for that. Sorry, the guy in the cloak actually reminded me of that, of uh, Manny Calavera. Did you sleep? Very comfortably, thanks. Really? Where are we? In the Marcuria Harbor. But there are barely any ships here. I do not know why. We must leave you here. We have other business. Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. Hmm, I wonder what's up with there barely being any ships, but oh well. Jeez, where did where all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city looks strangely quiet and deserted. And the sky. Those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like... like smoke. What's going on here? Oh yeah, wasn't this place going to be invaded by, uh... <clears throat> oh, who was it? I forget. Forget their name. Anyway, in the diary, Sunday, August 6th, early morning. How many weird and mysterious people are there in Arcadia? Seems for every normal person, and I mean that in the broadest possible sense, there are five or six strange, obtuse, meandering creatures with the tendency to speak really slowly and say things like, Who are you? And, I see your path. April, and it's not an easy one, and it is destiny. Like, hello, update your vocabulary already. Learn some new words, lighten up, wear plaid, whatever. <laughs> that said, I kind of like those dark people. Scary, yes, and probably heavily into the goth scene, but they gave me exactly what I wanted. The star map and the third piece of the stone disc, with a minimum of talk and no strings attached. They even brought me right back to Mercuria, where, alien or not, I can at least find my way around. If only the city didn't look so empty and dark. What's going on? That is a good question, but let's take a look at that third piece. That is a creepy looking piece, and why don't the pieces look like they can fit together? Hmm. Well, we'll have to solve that later, because they don't look like fourths of a disc. I know that sound. Huh? What the heck? Is that the thing from our dream at the very beginning of the game? And I know that vortex. Shit! Cortez must have found me, and just in the nick of time too. God, that was close. What caused that shift to open just in time? It has to be Cortez. Finally. Hello. Anybody there? I recognize that voice. Hey, it's the priest. Who's there? It's just me. April, it's good to see you again. Jeez, it has been a while since we've been in Stark, but we are finally back. Jeez, how many episodes has it been anyway, and what did we leave? Okay, from what I remember, Last time we were in Stark, we found out about... We got that data cube from the police station. Burn Slipper translated. Got some information about the Church of Voltec and about... Uh, oh, that great big company. I forgot what it's called. We'll remember it soon enough. And l we left Burn Slipper. He was going to get us a fake ID so we could get in there. And I wonder if he's finished that because we said we'd get it the next night and... It seems it's been longer than that. Also, let's see. There was that Zack guy that we ditched on that date. There was uh, April's two friends, Emma and the other weird 
dreadlock guy, Charlie, who were going to try to protect us. But that seems like ages ago. Anyway, diary. Sunday morning, back in Stark, back in Newport. Wow, that thing, that Chaos Vortex popped up. Again. I guess, again, because I'd really hoped our first rendezvous was a dream. Nothing but a dream. But hey, apparently not. Ooh, sorry, kinda tired. So not only is it back, it looks like it's chasing me, and it's gotten a hell of a lot bigger. Now, by some incredible stroke of luck, or more likely Cortez, a shift opened up in the nick of time and deposited me here in the cathedral. Convenient, if a little freaky, and why wait so long to bring me back? Not that I haven't accomplished almost everything I need to accomplish, accomplish in Arcadia, save for the fourth piece of the stone disc and the second Arcadian Dragon's Eye Jewel. But come on, Cortez could have at least brought me back for a change of underwear at some point. No, just don't wear underwear. <laughs> Anyway, uh, whoa, what else was I going to do? Last, I mean, last time Cortez, I guess, brought us back, or if he even did, it was through this watch. The watch is ticking. Hmm. Oh well, did, but did Cortez bring us back, or we did, did we do it ourselves? It's Father Raúl. Raúl. Father Raúl, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I yeah. haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. I remember there was also that cutscene where um, Cortez was actually captured by those company guys. When did you last see Cortez? It must have been... I think it was last Sunday. Exactly one week today. He's been gone longer than that before, but this time I... What? This time, I have a feeling there's something wrong. I don't like that feeling. Yeah, because playing, we, these people don't actually know what happened. Only us players do. Is there anything you're not telling me, Father Raul? I don't know what you... Uh... Yes, you do. You're no ordinary priest. You know about Stark and Arcadia, about the balance, and I'm sure you know a lot more about Cortez than you're willing to let on. Hmm. How did you... I heard you and Cortez talking last Sunday, and it scares me. And pisses me off to think that you're using me, that you're keeping things from me. I thought for sure that I could trust Cortez, but as it turns out, I can't. I was hoping to confront him with this, that he's not around, and you... You're part of it too, aren't you? April, you have to trust me when I tell you. Sorry, I can't trust anybody anymore. There's so much at stake, and I... I don't know who to trust, Father. Please, tell me what you know. I'm sorry, April. I mean, I'm sorry you don't feel like you can trust anyone anymore, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than I do. But I will try to answer your questions honestly and openly as much as I can. Who is Cortez? What do you mean? The way people react when I mention his name, the fact that he seems to have been alive for a very long time, and that he knows as much as he does. Who is he? <laughs> it's funny, but I've been asking that very same question myself many, many times. Who is this man? He's old, yes, and powerful. Hmm. He has strong magic, but he rarely lets on exactly how strong he is. He prefers to be considered eccentric. Crazy, even. They are both excellent disguises. You still haven't answered my question about Cortez. <sighs> That's because I cannot answer. I just don't know. He found me when I first came here. You see, I'm not just a Catholic priest. I'm also a sentinel, a minstrel. You're a minstrel? Yes. Do you find that strange? How can you belong to two religions at the same time? Belief in the balance and belief in God are not mutually exclusive. The Sentinel Order was founded on the basis of protecting the balance, not to worship a higher power. As long as our devotion to whatever God we believe in doesn't conflict with our duty to the balance and vice versa, who is to say we can't work in the best interest of both? I guess. I just always thought of the Sentinel as its own faith. It is a faith, but 
but a faith in something less than God, yet more than magic or the laws of nature. The balance was created by someone, was it not? I don't know. Nor do I. But I believe. I have faith. And that's enough. Hmm, that's actually a pretty cool concept there. What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my God. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little, only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian? Yeah. That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration, but I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything, anything at all. Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you. And the balance, too. How did you become a Sentinel Minstrel? The Sentinel are not numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with a vanguard, the Church of Voltec, keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. But the Sentinel are here, and when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's what happened to me. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenged conventional wisdoms, made me question the validity of my faith. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel. And I don't regret my decision. Have you ever been to Arcadia? No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance, and that in itself is a rare privilege for a Starker like me. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help, and that's the truth. Well, Brian Westhouse wasn't a shifter either, yet he made it over. Of course, we actually kind of learn more about that in the next game, to be honest. Hope that's not too much of a spoiler. It's like right in the beginning of the game. How are things here? You mean in the cathedral? No. No, I mean here in Newport. How have things been going? Nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Have you been away? You could say that, yeah. It's just been hot and humid, and it's getting worse by the day. And apparently crime is on the rise. But what else is new? I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that... that I've been worried. All right, all right. Oh, we actually got another diary entry. That's like three in a row. Father Raul tells me that Cortez hasn't been around for a whole week. Not since I overheard the conversation between the two of them last Sunday. That's pretty scary. It also means that whoever brought me back here, whoever helped me open a shift, it wasn't him. Wait, the dream I had a few nights ago, I remember it distinctly. I saw Cortez trapped inside some machine. I thought that was just a nightmare. Could it be that what I was seeing was some kind of vision? It's not impossible. But where is he being kept? And who's behind it? Safe money has got something to do with the vanguard. I need to get home and figure stuff out. Yeah, let's actually do that. Let's go home, change our underwear, take a shower, be clean. 
that are these Arcadian clothes. And it's been a while since we've been here. Ah, the lovely smell and sight of a government run utopia. <sighs> anyway, go back. I really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. <laughs> I wonder what the homeless people do in the wintertime. Supposedly, it gets biting cold here in Newport, and I don't know if there are any shelters anymore. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, to the border house we go. So now you kind of see the symbolism of the border house. And of the gateway over the door. Yeah, this whole thing right here. Is it... Somebody just leave the door open, come on. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Wait, what? Why? What's the... Run, April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on. Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. Uh, I was hoping you would join our little party. You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very difficult person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. What do you... Do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes. He runs the Church of Voltec, also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier. But then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. Well, it was either that or face the Chaos Vortex. So this is Gordon Holloway, the uh, right-hand manager, the head of the Church of Voltec here, or the Vanguard, here in Stark. What do you want from me? We want you, and what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax, by the way. Good job. Very impressive. Ah. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. But she was a twisted old girl, and we respect Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water. Oh, the Tyran. And That's so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I go on a little trip. Jeez, what is with the way this guy talks? It's almost like he's like saying things that should have emotion but he's completely emotionless. Well, we did see here some weird things about Gordon Holloway from uh, 
Burns Flipper, if you want to remember, and I'll probably have to do it myself, go back to the episode where he talks about it. There's nothing I have that you could possibly want. Leave that decision to me, Miss Ryan. Just hand it all over, and we can let these fine people return to their pathetic little lives. You have caused them enough pain, yes? But first, we still need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. Wait, what? Emma! What the hell is going on? And there's Zack. Oh, and we had time to write in our diary while we were running from imminent death. Sunday, August 5th, late morning. They shot Emma. They killed her. God knows what they've done to Mickey and Fiona. And Zack, they got him too. But I'm not going to shed any more tears over him. He sold us out, all of us, because of me. It's all my fault I got them involved, my friends, and it got Emma killed. And maybe the others too. I don't know what to do or how to feel. I'm so miserable. I hate myself. Yet at the same time, I could have done. could I have done anything different? They were all caught up in... We were all caught up in whatever this is, this cosmic farce. Is it ever going to end? Maybe when I accept my destiny and give up everything to become guardian, maybe that's where it's going to end. And now I don't... No choice, because if I give up now, Emma's death will mean nothing. I have to go on. I have to go on. Now more than ever. Zach, what are you doing? That's my neighbor, Zach Lee. Another shining example of the male animal. With the emphasis, in this case, on the animal. Okay. Zach, get out of the way. Need to go in. Change underwear. Get out of my way, Zach! Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? Wait, what? What game, Zach? They're trying to kill me. They just shot Emma. Who did? The agents, the Vanguard. But, but they said, they said they weren't really going to hurt nobody. They were just going to... They said? What do you mean? You spoke with them? No. I mean, they were just going to arrest you and... You bastard. You sold me out. You killed Emma. Do you know that? You killed my best friend. I... I didn't... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh well, they shot him, too, and that's... Nothing Zach, I'm going to cry about. Shit. So we'll be safe in our room. Open up! Oh, man. I worry about the exhibition coming if up you don't in two open weeks. Okay, so you have no time to worry about that right now. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's do it. Take it down. Oh no 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 no! There's only one way to go. No, I didn't want to do that. I made that same mistake before too. But you want to look first, and we really have no God, place to go. This is not gonna be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April. Oh man, that was crazy, but it looks like he's guarding the door. How are we going to get out of this mess? What's going to... what fate befell poor Emma and Zack? Uh, what about the rest? Well, we're just going to have to find out about that next time on Let's Play The Longest Journey. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.